you to meet everybody. I, I, I heard, um, okay. All right, so our symbol is the eight-pointed star, the um, seven-ray star plus one, which is eight, with connections to making it the eight-pointed star. Like you said, that's the star of Osar, or Melchizedek, or um, also which is a form of Heru. Uh, Markusutek is the name Melchizedek in Hebrew, but it is the comedic way of saying it, Markusutek, all right? Um, Sutek is the um, name in which that I gave in the so-called black conscious community to everyone. Um, instead of saying black power, they would say Sutek. All right, that's the name in which that I gave them. Um, once, we, once we broke this information down back in 2005, um, and everyone been saying it ever since. Matter of fact, those people that was naming themselves um, saying Sutek. In fact, one of them was Cujo. Cujo. I'm um, at one time with Sutek, all right? Um, and there was others who um, used that name. So here, the angel of justice reigned over the kingdom of Salam of Salam in charge of the high priest of Sadat justice. Um, he's also known as Marduk um, or Muduk or Marduk or Meldek. All of this is interchangeable, which would be the Sumerian deities known as the Anunnakians. All right? So the Egyptian deities or the Anunnakians, Sumerian, Mesopotamian deities. They were the same. In fact, when my wife and I went to the Grand Lodge of in, um, England, well, before we get to that, when we went to the British Museum in England and London, uh, we went and seen a still in which that showed the ancient Egyptians in Samaria. It was only Sumerian still, but they was ancient Egyptians. They, um, Sebek was there, um, Ra was there, Heru was there. All of these so-called Egyptian deities were on a still in ancient Samaria. How is that possible if they're not the same deities? So this is the first thing that we had to um, realize um, was those connections, all right? So right here, of course, that is Heru, symbol of Heru. And if you get the book called Melchizedek, the following information is taken from the secret doctrine of the order of Melchizedek in the Bible. It's by G.C.F. Um, Crumbine, all right? Right here, who is Melchizedek? Biblical history, his office and his order. The name Melchizedek is contained in the Holy Bible in Genesis 4.18, Psalms 1.10, and Hebrews 5 um, through 6 and 7. Melchizedek is likened to the head of the human race. And I do mean literally the head or the crown chakra. An angel, archangel, the son of God in human form, the Messiah Christ. And finally, the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit. In the Holy Quran, his name is al Qadir, which means the green one. Derived from Osar or Osiris, who was the vegetation nature, and he was green. Or Heru in um, Osar's awakened conscious state. All right? So here's an example of him being the green one, as you see here. Okay? This is Al Qadir within the Holy Quran. Of course, here this is Osar or Osaru, Osiris. So we come to find out that Melchizedek, his priesthood, his priesthood. Now check this out: is greater than the priesthood descended from Abraham. The Aaron. The Aaronic or Leviticate or Levitical priesthood coming from Levi. You can read verse 11, 15, um, chapter 17, verse, Psalms 110. God emphatically swore that the Messiah would be a priest according to the order of Melchizedek. But he would still be from the lineage priesthood of Levi via Judah. Okay. The house of Judah. 
now is known as the remnants of all the 12 tribes of Israel. So you can come from the house of Ephraim, you can come from the house of Manasseh, Manasseh, you can come from the priesthood of Levi, you can come from the priesthood of Dan, it doesn't matter, that's the house of Judea. Because the Messiah, who is a Melchizedekian priest, all right, has now come. Jesus priesthood supersedes the the Aaronic or Levitical priesthood allegorically. Jesus priesthood supersedes that. So, according to the Metaphysical Bible. By Charles Fillmore, he states, Aaron means illuminated, enlightener, mountaineer, very lofty, allegorical, the brother of Moses, that's who Aaron is, of the Israelite tribe of Levi, and first high priest of Israel, Exodus 6, 20, 28, 1-4. Now, the metaphysical and the executive power of divine law, Aaron, the first high priest of Israel, and the bearer of an intellectual light to the Israelites, signifies the ruling power of the intellectual consciousness. This is what is mentioned within the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary. So the making of the molten calf, which is the golden calf by Aaron, Exodus 32, 1-8, signifies the false state of thought idols that man built into his consciousness when he, all right, let's come down, perceives the truth but does not carry his spiritual ideals into execution, choosing instead to let his thoughts function in a lower plane of consciousness. That's what that's symbolic to. So how do we know that the name Mark Heru is Melchizedek? Because in the book of the beginnings by Jeremiah Massey, he speaks of Ra Heru Maku. Ra Heru or Horus Maku. Ra Hor Kohuti or Ra Ha Kohuti. All right, which is the Lord of Eons, in other words, the ancient ones. All right, also called the Biblical Melchizedek, the Ancient of Days. So we know that the Biblical Melchizedek is the Ancient of Days, known as Ra Har Maku, or Ra Heru Maku. So Ra Heru Maku, Maku means son of the double horse, um, on horizon, the son of the double horizon. Ra is a form of Osar, is also An, also Amen, or Atum, um, or Atan. All right? All right? Or Pata. Now, we know that is nothing more than a form of Heru. All right? Heru, or Haru, Sebek, where the term Hero comes from. Means God of the sun, sun God, light, high, far away, distant one, or above. All right, that is the same name as on, which means up there. On is also means the sun. Coming from the ancient comedic, as well as also, that's the name. On is also word Enu, which is in the Sumerian tales. And Enu is the uh, father of the many gods. All right, Heru symbolizes the higher self or the pineal gland. All right, in the brain, the spiritual eye, specifically that galaxy-like cloud, that UFO-shaped cloud that hovers above the pineal gland in a fluid-filled chamber in the third ventricle. Ma is short for mayat, all right, meaning the truth, law, right? Mayat um, symbol is the scale of justice, balance, shu, all right, the breath of life, order. Harmony, righteousness, truth, and peace. This is also where we get the five. Um, now, people don't even want to realize this or recognize this, but when you go into the more science temple of American teachings or the more holy temple science of the world teachings, it tells you about love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Well, those are the principles of my eye. 
This is why ancient, this is why Prophet Muhammad Ali said that he was a um, an ancient Egyptian adept. But most don't even want to recognize that. They don't want to recognize that. All right, Ku, cool. which is Aki, as we say, brother or Aku, men and protected, a form of Tahuti, who's the husband of Mayat, the truth of law. And um, Tahuti has his seven, um, his seven um, principles, all right? Correspondence, truth, um, co excuse me, correspondence, uh, gender, rhythm, vibration, uh, cause and effect, karma, which is, that's what that is, uh, mentalism, correspondence, you know, so there, there's seven principles for Tahuti too. So Maya has seven principles, Tahuti has seven principles, and they are the um, husband and wife um, of those. Okay. Now, Tahuti symbol is the Ipis bird, which is a form of Heru, the Bimu bird. All right. Um, the Phoenix, it means the glorious light body. That's what um, Ku or Aku means, the glorious light body. It's a form of spirit, the radiant shining, the transfigured dead who ascends to heaven and dwells among the gods or among the immortal pole stars, which never sets, which there's seven of them. Okay. Now you have um, set. So Hiru Mokusu Tek. Set means um, is Bara or Bara U or Bal. All right, which is um, the father of El, in which that we say within the Moral Science Temple when we take on the um, last name El, and then we have Ba, which is Bay. So Bay El um, is Bal, which is on the form of Set or Su Tek. All right, um, Sutnesi, the black Osor, Osiris, the black Krishna, or the black Buddha, or the black Christ. Um, and be saying black only in terms of the description, not in terms of it being a noun. All right, Sut means black, southern. All right, so um, tech, word means talk, or derived from tech. Tech means power, thirst, or to drink too much drunkenness. Tech is the Tamarian name of the Ipis bird, a form of Tahuti, a divine intelligence. Also is the form of Shu, the breath of life. In the um, um, Old uh, uh, Testament, it's called the Tanakh. All right, Sutek is Yahuda. Yahuda, Jacob, meaning the supplanter or Jehuti, all right, which is Tahuti or Io or Ah, Haho, or Jehovah, or Yahuwah, or Yahweh, which is also a form of Mayat, his wife, consort, symbolizing the feminine principle, the mother of all living things. All right, internally in us, that is, that is um, what we call the Kutalini Shakti, the magnetic energy force. Um, its DNA is also connected to the four amino acids. Now, in the New Testament, Sutek is Judas, Lucifer or Sutan or Satan, all symbolic to the lower self, Sebek, all the um, sexual organs, the pineal gland, the head of the penis, the, prost the prostate gland, testes, ovaries, uterus, which is oftentimes um, used excessively and pervertedly. Okay? Um, this is what is going on. And this is the reason why it is said to be as such. All right, so, so what is our mission? Um, and why indigenous? The inspirer, Prime Melchizedek, who's known as um, Prince Ramses Abel Bay, who's known as Prince Hutan Tupac Bay. Um, he is a Melchizedek. Um, as we all become, once we join the order, we all become Melchizedek, um, belonging to an indigenous nation. He was the crown prince of the empire, Washo de Dugdemania, under the auspices, um, auspices of Her Highness, the Empress, Radiosity Tierra, Turnica, Washo 
guest on El Bay, who bestowed him the title Crown Prince on June 7, 1999, which was his birthday gift. The Crown Prince, Ramses Abel Bay, changed his name in 2003 to Crown Prince Hutan Tupac Bay, and he inspired the formation of the United Washington Deductive Money Nation. All right. However, he kept the name Prob uh, Melchizedek, which is Prince Ramses Abel Bay, um, in the indigenous Cosmogonia Order Melchizedek. All right. He was inspired after he was um, initiated into the seven golden rays of Peru to form Ikro, the indigenous Cosmogonia Order Melchizedek. Okay. The um, Ikro, indigenous Cosmogonia Order of Melchizedek, is the inner circle of the United Washington Deductive Manya Nation, which is the outer circle. <coughs> All right. So, second, ancestral acknowledgement, historical research, religious studies, ecology, which is geophysics, um, archaeology, anthropology, and biochemistry. Genetics, etc. These are the fields that our children or ourselves should be going into. Okay? These are the fields that we should be going into. All right? This is what Prince Bay wanted as far as the teaching of the outer circle, United Washington Deduct Pneumonia. Um, he wanted us to make sure that we had these various subjects on lock. Three, healing techniques such as Ushi, Tibetan, Shekhar Reiki, Pranic healing or Pranayama, Naga Yoga, which is Kutanini Yoga, um, Tantra Kriya Yoga, electromagnetic modalities, massage, suggestion, and projection of thought, hypnosis, herbalism, or herbology. In reference to the science of healing, all priests, sacred seats of counsel, engage in the healing arts. So all of the high priests, um, in other words, anyone who is saying that they are a chief must be also a high priest and they must be able to engage in the arts of healing. That means they must know, once again, herbology. They must know anthropology, archaeology, biochemistry, dealing with the genetics Historical research, religious studies, ecology. We must know these fields. All right? We must know herbology, as you see here. We must know um, energy modality. We must know these particular sciences. All right? We're calling ourselves um, chiefs or we're calling ourselves high priests. We have to know all of this information. We must be holistic, all right? because we're going to have... Um, people who will be um, members of our particular tribes and it would be necessary um, to know this information so we can pass it on to them and their families. Melchizedek utilizes green, purple, which is violet, or gold light, specifically gold light. Healing the body was divine, activate that um, has a um, considerable degree of attention. The Raul, which is the Elu, which is the Elohim, or Elohim, or the um, Alahuma, the Anunnaki, or the Nomos, all right? All of that is talking about our chakras internally, externally. Each one of us who have mastered those seven chakra principles teaches that the ailing, the sick body, of even dead body, especially within three days, um, because the etheric or civil cord is still partially attached, can be filled with divine power, the light, healing ether, vitality, prana, or, or neph, so that as to cast out illness and disease and resurrect them. The Raul teaches that the ailing sick body can be cured by various plants, all right, herbs, for every illness on, on, of a human being that's in, that exists in herb, root, leaf, or bark that Here's the ailment. Okay. Vitamins and minerals are extractions of those herbal healing essence. First, in order to heal, I will recommend 
liquid vitamins and minerals to heal yourself. Then once you have enough of those liquid vitamins and minerals in your body, you can move to the herbs in order to maintain health. But first, you must get your body back to balance with the necessary amount of vitamins and minerals. Liquid form, not cabbage or capsules. They're going to give you 22 to 36% absorption rate. The liquid give you 96 to 98% absorption rate. So the vitamins, minerals, and um, uh, uh, in their liquid form are the ones in which that will help you the quickest to heal. All right? This is just the truth of the matter. You can take herbs that is excellent, but it might take a longer period of time. All right, the quickest way is by via liquid. And so if you do a test, we have testers in which that we can um, see um, exactly what minerals that you are missing, whether you're missing iodine, whether you're missing magnesium, um, selenium, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, vitamin D3, K2, all right, um, Sulfur, we're seeing what is missing, and then we can um, get you the liquid so which that is necessary for you to heal so that you can begin um, your healing, all right? So people who have um, diabetes, who people have, um, oftentimes they are chromosome, um, chromium and vanadium deficient, along with magnesium and zinc deficient. <clears throat> okay and that's what they will need free healing services twice a week with meditation prayer and we go and we have a prayer system in which that we have developed in which that I'll go over um, soon too which is nothing but yoga essentially but it's positive affirmations along with the yoga positions not just the breathing Breathing is good, that is what you need, but also you need to have the mind right with the proper um, affirmations, decrees, prayers, hakahus, chants, dickers, whatever term that we want to use it, and then there's various mantras um, and mudras that can be utilized. Breathing, song, and uh, rhythmic dance, or in this case, um, qigong tai chi yoga. All right? Um, it can be used also with um, drumming. All right? Especially when we have our um, events. All right? Which we have one coming up in June. June 17th, 18th, and 19th. Three-day event. <coughs> Three days. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right? Six. Mastering of one's Diet. All right, we call it living. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, alkaline food, electric food, water, in particular, the best water. Is the United Washita water. And the reason being is because it has magnesium in it, which a lot of people are deficient in. If you have high blood pressure, hypertension, you're deficient in magnesium extremely. Um, it also has potassium in it, which also helps to um, lower blood pressure. And um, it also has calcium in it. Um, a little known fact, most people will drink water um, and, and it'll be drinking water or purified water, and it has sodium bicarbonate in it, which is salt. So if we're dealing with hypertension, drinking salt will not make your hypertension better. Um, but these alkaline foods, the electric foods, these herbal practices, um, also pra um, personal hygiene practices and spiritual cleansing is the things that we'll be going over. Um, the seven, number seven is the sales of fruits of healing edibles, herbal remedies, 
incenses and resins, soaps, oils and ointments, etc. Um, eight high school, high school and collegiate, which is university, um, for a better future. Because right knowledge is what makes us all better off. Um, our purpose is to bestow members with high moral standards and raise members to their ultimate spiritual, mental level um, as creators and creatresses, um, just like a Lord or personal Savior. Um, the over soul or the higher self, um, which is also known as Buddha, Christ, Muhammad, and the seven Elohim, or the seven seals, the seven chakram. Okay, so number two is to live in a universal order, a cosmic alignment, and in tune with nature or netu of the forces, the seven elements. So earth, water, fire, air, ether, which is sound, light, and thought. Number three, to maintain. I really got to take out the light and the thought. Ain't that deep? We already know why. Uh -huh. Because once we know that our thoughts manifest into things, especially now, our thoughts are even manifesting even quicker. We see it all week, especially when you're with a crew of people who are like-minded. We, en we enhance each other. Um, number three, maintain love, truth, peace, freedom, justice, righteousness, which is integrity, and order which is harmony and balance, or a.k.a. Mayat. Before to build health and wellness centers, huh? educational institutions. How can we uplift follow men when they're not being taught proper information? And who else going to do it but us? Um, we have the sciences of the herbs with the wellness centers. Um, the children this week, we picked white clover. And we're going to make, after they dry, we're going to make um, sweets with them. Yeah, look up white clover. It's very nutritious. It's growing in all of our yards for a reason. We also picked um, dandelions as well as um, star flowers. And those star flowers are extremely nutritious. They have omega-3 and omega-6, which the body does not naturally make but need. So that gets into the farms and et cetera. But however, um, sight recognizing these plants and herbs that's growing all around us, that's very important. And it also cut down on farming because it's naturally growing there. This stuff is indigenous to the landmass, which will heal our bodies. Um, to learn natural laws, the laws of nations, linking back to the families of nations, et cetera. We've all heard that statement. Dealing with common law. Um, and reasoning, right knowledge, critical thinking, criminal rights, indigenous laws, international laws, and et cetera. Getting your international um, driving passport from the United Nations, all those types of things. Number six, to establish theaters, museums, temples, mosques, churches, shrines, meditation groups, start small, something, a baseball league, something. Um, shamanistic practices and all natural progressive forms of worship. To study chemistry is number seven, alchemy, biology, ecology, archaeology, anthropology, ethnology, and all sciences that bring balance to connection for humanity. This is important because honestly we stronger together, power to the people. Um, okay, here's, here's Dr. Ali. All right, so this is the letter from Prime Melchizedek in 2003. So we present this letter to you. As you see, we're to establish theaters, museums, temples, or, all right, what is called mosques, churches, shrines synagogues or whatever term that you want to use with shamanistic practices and all natural progressive forms of worship. In other words, 
we continue to grow. We don't just stop, all right, um, and get stuck in a belief system. That's not what this is about. This is take all of the knowledge and information which that we have gathered over years and start to utilize them as a culture. Cultivate. Not a cult, or just a cult in its derogatory terminology. But to cultivate, to develop a culture in which that is cohesive with our heritage and our history. Those are the keys. So as we see here, chemistry, alchemy, very important. That's dealing with your DNA. That's dealing with melanin. Biology. Ecology, archaeology, anthropology, ethnology, all sciences that bring balance and connects us, connects humanity. Of course, you know, everybody on planet Earth is not part of the human species. You have clones. You have robots or robotoids or, ro or robotoids. You have androids. You have all of these things in which that has um, come to being. So we of Ikram seek to expound essential love, to generate the true God force and share it with all women and men. We are the mercy and the um, benefits of life itself. Life has a consistent pattern that interlocks all humanity. Our purpose is to unite all to be considerate of all life and to center ourselves in and around and through the golden light of healing. Prince Bay say, I, proud Melchizedek, proclaim that we move away from violence, self-hate, civilist mortus, and into full life. Your supreme Grand High Priest, Prop Melchizedek. So these are the letters in which that um, he brought to us. He was able to formulate the Melchizedek priesthood. <coughs> or Marku Sutek priesthood. These are the offices and duties. All right, so what is Ikram? what is referred to as essentially when wet answer in order of love so what is ikram is the order of love love of self love of higher self elohim elo ila ayla allah ura elohim elohuma elonaki nomo adami adone yahivahe which is Tahuti. An equal member uses the universal life force energy of prana, chi, ki, kohuna, mana, holy spirit, which is the holy ghost, healing energy of light and color, healing sounds of power and thought projection and suggestion, etc., for the benefit of humanity. In other words, you seen Star Wars, and you've seen the so-called Jedi Knights, and they use the Force 
to help suggest the suggestions of benefits of humanity or a benefit of the beings on their plane of existence. Other life forces, we utilize animals, trees, waters, etc. All right? That we may interact with out of divine love. Two, what is the office of the Supreme Grand High Priest or High Priestess, which is called Ida Nature? To lead meetings, address difficulties, um, enable laws of the order, to issue ordinances, and help in the evaluation of candidates. All right? What is the office? of captain, which is called Shahid Jed, to lead training methods, oversee security, and maintain peace in the order of light. Four, what is the order of lieutenant? I am Ket. The answer is to build and assist the captain, grand priestess, Grand Priest to help to maintain or the maintenance of the priesthood. What is the office of secretary, record keeper, treasurer, which is called Sisha Peru Ankh? All right. The recorder, Tahuti, and archiver of all meetings, as well as the banker, financier of the order. Six, what is the office of the high priest? Wabet. Answer, the order, chief officer that upholds all facets of the veil and covenant. Seven, what is the meaning veil and covenant? Answer, love thy mother, Mayat, Ra, Muturahiru, and Thyself, Patara, or thy father, um, Patara, love thy neighbor as thyself. That's the veil and covenant symbology. <coughs> so, positions. When Ret is the priesthood, the supreme grand high priest or high priestess, high priestesses, a high priest. And all those priests in various positions are to take a vow of service, humility, to serve humanity. All right, that's when right. Now you have it's a nature, literally translate father, mother of God, of the God. While in the oldest period of Tamarian Egypt, Egyptian history, this title could be held by members of the priesthood of the highest rank. All right. Yam Jara frequently held other titles and positions within the temple. You had Sidhid Jet, which is inspector of the priesthood. You have Simon Ket, supervisor of the temple's operation. You have Him Nature, man, servant of the God, goddess, and the Himet Nature, which is women. All right? Um, servant of God, goddess, with the um, Primary ancient Tamarian comedic words for priest or priestess. All right, so you have him, nature, and him, nature. All right. You have Wab and Wabet, man and woman, which means pure priests. They are responsible for the purity of the ritual and the cleanliness of sacred rooms, tools, paraphernalia, and priesthood. I mean, Unut, 
along with the um, scribes of the House of Life, the Emmy, um, the Emmy Unut were astrologers, astrologer priests, and priestesses who calculated the position of the sun, moon, stars, and planets. They were our astrologers. Now, understand this because the Dogon were part of this house. Okay? You have Kur Hab. Kur Hab. All right, was he um, priest and priestess? Who recited the um, liturgy and um, magical spells? So that's the key. <clears throat> they recite the magical spells. Of course, that means reading from the book of Psalms, uh, reading from Proverbs, reading from the Songs of Solomon, reading from the Quran, reading from whatever book. The coming forth by day and night, which is called the book of um, the dead. All right. You have uh, Sish Per Unk, which means scribes of the house of life, with a learned priesthood, including mathematicians, doctors, and scientists. You have Sish Ked, who were the artists of the priesthood. These are the ones who did the hieroglyphics. Salu, these priests involved with healing. All right. <coughs> yeah, Raket, meaning knowing one. The Raket was considered wise women. They were the seers who was able to communicate with the dead. It appears that the Rakets were comprised of women only who had passed their children bearing years. In other words, they was the oracles. Mm -hmm. The Rakat was the oracles within the ancient comedic teachings or the order of Melchizedek. You had the Saul, which are the workers of protective magic. All right? So oftentimes you will have the Saul or the Saul and the um, Karu um, had to work together. You have the Dwat, all right, also called Twat, which literally means in tune with the forces of nature or worshiper of the God. And was a title carried by the priestesses, all right, um, Het Heru, as early as the Old Kingdom. They are um, depicted as performing all of the temple rites that are reserved for only the highest level of the clergy. This position was also referred to as God's wife, all right, or the hand of God, of the God, both of which echoes back to the creation myth in which Het Heru or Nepti um, Hecti. All right, or known as all set, um, stimulated, sexually stimulated um, atom ray so that creation may begin. So they are the creations. They are the ones who bring things into existence. And then you have um, Inu Mufti, right, the male equivalent of the Dewat nature. This is the um, term um, that translates to pillar of his mother. The pillar also represents the phallus, so is the male principle. He's the order after the order of our men or men. All right? Same logical, similar to the position of the Dwight nature. Right? So here, um, this is talking about 
um, them being a scientist um, and making sure that the people have the right amount of minerals in the body. So they're also a doctors um, in which that helps with the fertility and the regeneration in principle. All right. So this is the same as in which that raw, um, we're impregnating raw, of course, symbolizes the sunlight, impregnate head head rule at this noonday sun so that she may be um, get pregnant to him the next day. Then we have um, the Ramu, which is the term meaning messenger or prophet or herald. Um, these appears to um, have been trained to be intermediaries between the natural rules and humans. This skill seems partic um, particularly um, have been employed in regards to Oracle. All right. So we have Sim or Simen. Sim were mortuary priests who overseen or oversaw and conducted the funeral the funerary rituals. Right? They dealt with the funerals. So this is the mortuary. Prince Barry would have been a sin because he um, knew mortuary sciences. He dealt with that. Right, he near. Right, he near, which means the temple magicians, uh, musicians, and dancers. See, that was a position. That was also position the science of dance. Right, we're working with. Um, a little girl um, dance team right now. My wife is working with them right now. We wrecked him here, which means a priestess of high rank. Music and dancing was performed to promote fertility and rebirth. As such, the Hanif um, participated in almost all ceremonies for um, festivals to funerals. Thanks. I think she got a little bow. No, she went my food. Oh. She just went downstairs, though. Oh, yeah. All right, so these are the laws. All right, these are the laws. First law is to show love. Mayat. Without discrimination. Love arises spontaneously when hatred and anger and other forms of selfish and negative thoughts are absent. Second law is to hurt no one and help all. Jesus figuratively summed up the Ten Commandments, which was summed up from the 42, 77, 147, said negative confessions of Mayat into one commandment, do unto others as others have happen to do unto you. In other words, as your parents have told you, I'm sure on numerous occasions, treat people the way in which that you would like to be treated. This is beyond name. All right, physical giving, um, not reference to one galactical name, race, creed, color, nationality, ethnicity, handicap, or etc. Third law is to work towards total inter and outer peace, mayat, and unity, samatawi, with the higher self, Allah, or ura, in man, divine mind. If you practice meditation daily, then gradually over the years, without straining to be perfect, you will become less and less self-centered, and a natural love for others will arise in you, within you. And thus, with changing the inner world, world of oneself, you automatically change the outer world. <coughs> right? Supreme Grand High Priest, Pramal Chesedek, is the, inspiration, is the inspiration of this order. The indigenous golden way order of Melchizedek is the order of light, the mastery of dark. We call upon Melchizedek, which is Hirud Malkusu Tekt. Um, we are non-denominational, yet we bear the stepping stones of ancient sciences, said mysteries, Hekau, or what is known as spiritual systems, religions, which Judaism, Christianity, Islam, the said monotheistic belief systems, Zoroastrianism, um, Buddhism, Confucianism, and Taoism, and etc. derived. 
The Hakau teachings are found in all lands, among all religions. Our structure symbolizes the force of one. The Supreme Grand High Priest um, or Grand Priestess in his or her state has the power to form law as long as the law is in terms of nature called natural law and not colorable law. With the assistance of the captain, lieutenant, and secretary, record keeper, and treasurer. Okay, this is part of the initiation requirements into Ikram, indigenous cosmic going away order of Melchizedek. One must be willing to relinquish the grips of the ego over one's behavior, deeds, and actions, and rightfully desire the emergence, union of the land of happy and Samatawi yoga religion of the lower self, the four devils and the four lower chakras caught in the body, the body of desire as it is called, all right, to unify with the higher self, the three higher chakras, which is known as the holy trinity, the form or saw, the one God, the Allah, the Heru, that one divine self, that divine union within yourself, all right? Conquering one's lower self in attributes of lust, greed, jealousy, and envy and hatred, and breeds, which the lower self breeds hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harms, to exhibit the higher self attributes, right? Which would be the 99 attributes of a law or a lot, or at, or a rate. Um, amen, Amenta, the father, mother of all virtues, justice, mercy, love, and right. So that's what we want, justice, mercy, love, and right. Two, one must possess high moral standards and is able to understand the temptations of the world. One must learn development of detachment from reactions and wrong desires. Three, one must be willing to work Daily through proper breathing, meditation, prayer, song, chant, dicker, hakao, hissies, um, mantras, mutras, exercise, dance, and um, diet. Of course, the dance could be qigong, tai chi. The diet to develop one's spiritual, mental, conscious gifts, setis, which are mentioned in First Corinthians, the 12th chapter. All right. Four, one must learn how to focus on one's earthly mission and spiritual purpose in life and one's intentions in every situation. The question should be asked, what is my sole unique mission? What do I have to give the world? All right, so um, these are particularly the sciences in which that we need to know. All right, are there any questions about anything I've gone over so far? Not at this time yet, brother. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Alien, how do you become a member of the... Just go, to, just go to the website and join. Yeah, I did have one time. I actually fill out the, the application for the Melchizedek order, but I never got a reply. Okay. Well, I'll continue on for a little bit more explanation. So this is my certificate of ordination, Dr. Sardar Ali New El Bay Melchizedek, Indigenous Cosmic Going Away Order Melchizedek. Um, as you see, um, Prince Bay signature undermines. As you see here, the authority of Prince Ramses Abel Bay Pra Melchizedek. So um, this is our seal that we had since 2003 in which that dealt with um, the Melchizedek order. 
All right. So uh, it is also called the Ancient Tamarian Kemetic Egyptian Mystery School or the Asuta Netcher Nepheteru Udara Mayat Ut Maku Sutek, which is the indigenous cosmogory of the Melchizedek and age Kemetic teachings. And as you see here, we have the various Melchizedek robes of mastery. All right. One is yellow robe, initiation into wisdom. Two, red robe, initiation into passion and devotion to God. Three, royal blue robe, initiation into the higher wisdom. Four, um, magenta robe, initiation into higher love. Violet robe, five, initiation into higher protection. Um, indigo robe, initiation into access sacred text and wisdom of the ages. Seven, turquoise robe. Um, initiation to um, bring in higher spiritual concepts into physical reality. And the eighth, which symbolizes the eight points on the star, as we've seen, the golden robe, initiation um, for non-interference. All right, so um, these are the um, robes or the um, mastery of such. Now, <clears throat> we spoke about the fact that the order Melchizedek is higher than the order of Aaron, all right? But we'll go over the science of Aaron um, in order to, so people can have a greater understanding. Um, all right, um, Dr. Yoshua ben Ephraim, he's the leader and founder of the E1B1A um, DNA teaching, um, and he says, our DNA proves that we are Israelites. Um, he's absolutely correct. Um, here we have various pictures. This is um, all these pictures are pictures of Christ painted um, simply on 328 AD um, to 940 on um, 5 AD. Um, we have um, 303 um, of the Hebrews. These are the, of the Hebrews in 303 BC to um, 256 BC. As you um, AD, excuse me, and these are um, the Hebrews. This is how the Hebrews used to look. They was melanated, as you see here. These are the Shemites. All right, this is King David. This is Christ and his disciples. All right, this is Byzantine Emperor Justinius um, the second. Um, a bust of Christ facing with curly hair. All right, cornrows perhaps, but as you see here, um, short beard, wearing um, pallium and um, columbium, the gospel in the right hand, in the um, left hand, cross behind his head, reverse. All right. So, if you get this book, the secret relationship between blacks and Jews. Um, if you don't have that book, um, I would say um, order it from the Nation of Islam because they have about five um, versions of this. But it says that Negroes are the treasure for the Jews. All right? This is um, Feodor. Um, the stay um, Yesiski. All right? Yesiski. All right, so he says that the Negroes are the treasure for the Jews. So we actually are the real Jews. All right? J E W E L S. We are the real Jews of the Jewish. All right? And Minister Farrakhan states that as well in the final call. He says, blacks, the true children of Israel. All right? Get this book, Israel, the chosen nation, um, pre-dynastic by the highest Yahuwah. This is by Dr. Um, Biniyah um, Yashirel. So, We've had our Elijah, the so-called Jews, Jewish people, say that they can't conceive of a Messiah until Elijah arrives. Well, in the Messiah text, one of the legends of the Israel is that Elijah will come back as an Arab, 
under the banner of Islam. This is what Bobby Hemet says. Well, you get the book, the Messiah text, Jewish legends of 3,000 years by Raphael um, Petai. He says, Behold, I sent to you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great day of the Lord and arrived in terrible one. And he will return the hearts of the fathers to the sons and the hearts of the sons to their fathers, lest I come and smite the land to destruction. Malachi 3, 24, 20, uh, 3, 23, 24. But in the future to come, I myself shall lead you and shall send Elijah before you. All right. This is from um, the Menesh, um right here, or the Tanok, or Tanok, or the Mishap Patim, which is 18 in. It says, so in the end to come, Elijah will be my spokesman. He will come and settle all the doubts and explain them to us at that time. This is from the Zohar, 327b, 28a. So, it says, Elijah differs from other biblical characters in that he alone had remained in popular beliefs. Reason why? Because he never died. Remember, Elijah was taken up on a flaming chariot. In life, or I live, charismatic personality who followed with deep paternal concern the fate of Israel in general and of every individual Jew in particular. He is said to have appeared and conversed with many of the Talmudic sage, arranged for meetings between them and the Messiah, established his words to them and taught them much of the secret lore of the Torah. More importantly, from the point of view of popular psychology, is the widely prevalent um, belief that Elijah is always ready to extend his helping hand to people in distress, had to, um, has the power to chase away the angel of death and appear to the poor and the trouble in the most unexpected um, guises. One as a beggar. A Persian, an Arab, or a horseman, a Roman court official, a harlot, in and in a story. All right, so our Elijah as an Arab under the banner of Islam was Elijah Muhammad. So Elijah has come. All right. Now we know that we're in a great and um, dreadful day. The very thing in which that has been going on for the last two years. Now people are being fooled, taking a shot, dying. And we're hearing this more and more every day. When my wife and I first um, started doing our research on this information, which of course you can see the 10 hour video I did with Brother Panic, I already gave um, dozens and dozens of of um, herbs and remedies for the situation prior to, think about it, prior to the shots. But now we come to find out, as Phil, Phil Valentine told us, that there's two strands of HIV in the shots. So that means whatever is in the shots is meant to destroy the remnants of your immune system. 70% of your immune system is in your digestive system stomach. The other 30 is in your thymus gland and throughout your body, which is called your lymphatic system. This is what is going on. So, there's no coincidence that <coughs> they began a lot of this around at the end of profit number um, of um of um, the apostle, the apostle, as we refer to him as, or the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, around the time that he passed, which was 1975. That's when they started with this artificial, fake-ass food, GMO food. All right? This is when they started coming up with 
um, the AIDS 10 years later, less than 10 years later, HIV, which is much more than a deficiency, as it is with um, the COVID. The COVID, as we found out, is cobra venom. And the number 19 actually is the 19 toxins in which that is in the cobra venom, mm -hmm. in which that destroys the organs in your body. Mm -hmm. But we tried to tell people this information two years ago. I was one of the first to do the video on it. I did a video back on it the end of February, beginning of March, on the COVID, or coronavirus as it was called then. And it was a good one, too. I yeah, appreciate that. So, we try to prepare you for this great and, um, great and terrible day. And which that Elijah Muhammad warned us about, as he was our Elijah for us. E1B1A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what Okay. The Messiah is one of the most noble royal blood known in Israel, that of the house of David. Moses is the noblest line that exists in those early days among the children of Israel, the priestly family of Levi. Because Moses was a Levi, was a Levi, his brother Aaron, the priest. The great task both the Messiah and Moses are destined to fulfill is the redemption of their people from bondage, the bondage of the exile and dispersion of the case of the Messiah and the bondage of the Egyptian slavery in the case of Moses. Both led their people back to the promised land, the holy land, the land of the Father. Right? So, The David or the Davidic line or the house of David, all right, which is Malakut Beth Dawid, the kingdom or the house of David, it refers to the lineage of the Israelite king David through his text in the Holy in the Hebrew Bible. The New Testament and although the succeeding centuries in Judaism and Christianity it is the bloodline from which the Hebrew Messiah has a paternal descent. The Christian um, gospel claims that Jesus descended from the Davidic or the Davidic line and is therefore the legitimate Hebrew Messiah. The New Testament books of Matthew and Luke give two different accounts of the genealogy of Jesus that trace back to David or Dawid or Dawu, depending on if you're speaking Hebrew or Arabic. According to the Tanakh, upon being chosen and becoming king, one will customarily anoint with customarily is anointed with holy oil poured on one's head. Now. The ancient comedics will pour this holy oil on it, but it was from the fat of Sebek, the crocodile deity, or Neturu. This is why you have Heru standing on the crocodile on the back of Sebek. Sebek and Heru becomes one. Heru Sebek, which means the Messiah, or the Mashiach, that is called in Hebrew. All right? This case was done by Prophet Samuel. Initially, David was king over the tribe of Judah, only and ruled from Hebron. But after seven and a half years, the other Israelite tribes was found themselves leaderless after the death of ish um, Bosheth chose him to be their king as well. So as you see, it wasn't just the tribe of Judah. All of the tribes of Israel came and sat under David. So the house of David or the 
uh, kingdom of Judea, he's talking about all of the 12 tribes. So here it says all um, subsequent kings in both the ancient first united kingdom of Israel and the later kingdom of Judea claim direct descent from King David to validate their claim to the throne in order to rule over the Israelite tribes. All right? So, we find that the Limer, all right, or the Limber tribes in South, Southern Africa has Jewish roots. Genetic test reveals. Well, Go to um, www.meru.org.com and it breaks down the 22 mutras or hand positions um, in which that is used by the priest, the high priest of Levi. You cannot see it. Here's a better, a better look at him. These are the Mutras, in which that are used within the Hebraic, which symbolizes each alphabet. All right, this is long live and prosper. You've done seen this before on Star Wars, from me, Star Trek. Excuse me, from Dr. Spock. And he usually do his hands like this and say, long live and prosper. But this is the letter Shin. And Shin stands for Shahade. All right, Shahade or Shade is a Hebrew name for Lord. The temple priests will hold out their hands in this position to give the bened benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he lift up his face, his countenance to shine light upon you and be gracious to you and may he give you peace. So hence, long live and prosper would be the short version of this. So you see here, um, the Jewish people um, doing their hands as such for those that can do them because all of them can't do it as you see. But here, that, um, um, as we say, um, this is the Benedict um, Aaron's or uh, um, Aaronic benediction. This is the English version and the Hebrew version. All right. This is the generation or the um, of the priesthood of the Levite priests. All right, so many of you have these same connections. How I know is because my wife um, has these connections. When I did her DNA, um, she is from the Limba people as well. So both of us from the Limba people, um, as far as being that we're Levites, we are um, part of the Hebrews. All right, and we're talking about the black DNA of the Hebrews. All right, not just religion, as we see with the um, Albion um, Jewish people. So as you see here, um, you can see um, number one population, the closest source, is the number of people which is derived. And if you go to the primary population, you can see all through one through 20-some-odd um, um, populations, and you can see... Um, the highest amount of DNA would be the Limba people, which means Levite, the Levite priesthood. That means I'm directly descended from the same priesthood as Moses. Now, Moses didn't um, exist. We're talking about that Moses III, who sat on the throne of ancient Kemet. Let's get this straight. That's how Moses existed as Thutmose the third. 
Okay? Number two, as you see here, is the Bantu. Three is the Mandinka. Four, Sub-Saharan um, Ancestral. Five, Yoruba derived. Six, Bianca um, Pygmy derived. Seven, Ethiopian derived. Eight, Jew Ethiopian derived. That means we're from the Falashian Hebrews. The Falashian Hebrews as well. From the Falashian Hebrews. Number nine. Once again, Falashian Hebrews. Number 10, the Lumbi, so-called Indian. 11, Moroccan. 12, Mosebeek. 13, Yemen. 14, Australian. 15, Egyptian. 16, Puerto Rican. 17, Jordanian. All right? 18, um, 67, 19, New Rock. All right, so they're showing you the ancient um, African lineage. They're showing you the ancient, um, that's West Africa and East Africa. They're showing you Australia. They're showing you the um, um, connections here in the Americas, the Lumbee, the um, Miss Rock. <coughs> That's here in the Americas. The Puerto Ricans, that's here in the Americas. And the Puerto Ricans, you know there's no such thing. That's the Arawak Tayano or the Carib Indians. All right? So, um, we want to show you this because the E1B1As are the rulers over ancient Egypt, as well as also over the Israelites, which is one and the same. Which people are not putting this information together, but yet they have allegedly done their DNA test. So that means that they are skipping out on certain amounts of information. They said the true descendants of Jacob, Israel, that is the true descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel, should carry only um, carry one and only one unshared Y DNA haplogroup. And that's E1B1A. So J can't be um, a Jewish haplogroup. Sorry. G can't be a, um, haplo, um, a Jewish haplogroup. H can't be a Jewish haplo, um, a Jew haplogroup. Which would really give the true meaning of having, of having God's chosen people. With one unshared Y DNA haplogroup, only for them, and one side, and the Gentiles with all the other shared Y DNA haplogroups on the other. So everybody else that don't have E1B1A are Gentiles. Those who have E1B1A are the real chosen people of the Israelites. According to the scriptures and the true histories, they are backed. Up scientifically through DNA. Why DNA haplogroup E1B1A was found and confirmed to be the only haplogroup which is not racially shared. So Asians don't get this. Europeans don't get this. Sorry. Only those who have E1B1A, Y DNA haplogroup, are Hebrew Israelites. And this is why the so-called Hebrew Israelites don't take the damn test. Because a lot of them are not and do not have E1B1A. But yet they out here on the streets yelling at on, on white people as if they only ones who don't have E1B1A. No, some of y'all don't have it too. And that's why you don't want to get out and do your DNA test. So, hence, those who carry it should um, obviously be the true Israelites. Just that simple. And so we have the list of the African tribes who are descendants of the Hebrew Israelites nation. This is by Nana Kof on, on Kufi. Uh, so this is the chain. So the following is a partial list of the various tribes through North, South, East, and West Africa who are descendants of the Hebrew Israelites. Beta Israel, which are the Philistines, Ethiopians, which I already showed you that was in my joint, in my own um, case. You have the Benaya on um, a Dioye, which is Uganda. You have the Tutsis in Rwanda. You have the Rusapi in Zimbabwe. You have the Limba 
South Africa. You have the Sefwi uh, um, Aso, which is Ghana. You have the Ashanti um, Ghana Ga, which is Ghana. You have the Iwa in Ghana. You have the um, Bena Ephraim, the south of Ephraim, Yoruba, Nigeria, which I'm also an Ephraimite on too. You have Lam Lam, which is Timbuktu, which my, my wife, she got under Lam Lam in her because she got a lot of the Mali and Dogon. Um, you got um, Katsina, which is Nigeria. You have the Safin Ibrahim, which is the um, Malagasy Republic. And you have the Igbo Nigeria, which we both have that, as well as also um, um, those connections. All right, so these are the tribes in which that also are the Israelites' tribes in which that most of us are also descended from, whether it's Igbo, whether it's Yoruba, whether it's the Limba, whether it's the... Um, uh, Falashan, whoever, um, these are the connections, right? As you see, the Isan in Nigeria, you have to get um, the Gambian, um, which is the Mandinka, as you see here, the same tribes in which that they just spoke of is in our, um, is in um, particularly in my um, case, right? You have um, the Mandi, which is also part of the Mandinka people. You have the Yoruba. Um, which is Nigeria, you have um, the African Caribbean or the African Caribbeans in um, Barbados, which actually is throughout all of the Caribbean. Um, that's talking about Dominican Republic, um, Trinidad, and Tobago. Um, that's talking about um, uh, that's talking about also Jamaica and Puerto Rico, as well as also um, Haiti. People with African ancestry in Southwest United States. All right. So these are who we are. We are the ancient Israelites, and this is the reason why they want us to say um, that we're not the Hebrew Israelites. You know. So um, this is one of the problems. If you're doing a DNA test and it's saying that you are a Hebrew Israelite, but yet you're saying that you're not a Hebrew Israelite, which a lot of people are doing, then they're not tying back on to them being the chosen people in their line, and they're allowing these um, Albion convert Jews or Jewish people to actually um, come in and claim their heritage. So this is rabbis exposed black Jews are the real ordained people, even B1A. Right? This is from a letter, and he said a letter to the ten lost tribes of Israel. And he speaks about us being the lost tribes of Israel, right? So this is the missing link of Jewish European ancestry. Contrasting in Rhineland and the uh, Khazarian hypothesis, they are Khazarians, all right? We are not the um, Jews the Bible speaks of, all right? Now, this is what we said by... Um, Nasir, right? Gemo Abdallah Nasir. And he says, they left black in 1952 in Time Magazine. He says, when he was asked about peace in the Middle East, the late president of Egypt, Gamal Abdel Nasir, stated that the Jews would not be able to live here in peace because they left here black, but now come back white. So, we know that is true. All right. We know that is true. All right. So I'm going to stop here. Are there any questions on anything that I've gone over? It's, it's real low, God. Can't hear you. No, it's still low. If someone can um, hear him, you can translate it to me if you can, but I can't hear him. Better. Okay, 
yourself. It's gonna work that good. But the further research on the uh, details with, with the DNA, what other uh, sites would be good or other uh, areas to research that? Um, 23andMe, Andro, which is A D N T R O DNA, Andro DNA, My True Ancestry. Okay. Peace. Thank you. Peace. All right. So I'm going to end here. And I'm going to say, Ali. Yes. That's Ali. Uh, I got knocked out of the class. Happy end up calling me, and I let them know what's going on. Okay. Is there any way, is there any way you can send me the recording? Because I missed uh, a good 30 minutes. Of it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. When I download, I can send it to you. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to send that, uh, that attorney number and uh, his address to to you, too. Gotcha. Oh, okay. uh, man. Great class, man. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what's sir. Hey, hi. Hey, what's your age? Hey, what's your age? Hey, what's your age? Hey, what's your age? Hey, what's all right, what's the Yeah, Doc, I had a question. Yeah, go ahead, guy. Um, for the Ingram, was that the reason behind you trying to get us to research the 501? Uh, I mean, the 501 uh, D to be free? No, the, the 508. The 508. 508. Yeah, the 508. Uh, I remember it was like two weeks ago you had told us, it was like two or three weeks ago you were telling us, to look at the Rob mm -hmm. Ryder video on the 501D? No, 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 there was two. The 501D right, and the 508. Right. 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 I just wanted to know what's right. the 501D. Right, the 501D, right, exactly. That's what you were trying to get us to, basically, right. the, the laws mm -hmm. and that, that you went over, that that's what you right. were basically trying to get us to establish. Right. So I was doing some research on the 501D, and then I was... That you got to get their permission to to figure out, send them our bylaws and, and get an understanding of what we trying what we trying to operate in. Right. We're going to move and orchestrate it. So I get, okay, I get so it. Next, so next cool. week, if you can, please bring that information. We can go over that for the class, okay? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to be here next week for sure. This is Brother Thamos. I have one more question for you. Yeah, get out here. Um, for the for the DBA, it uh, for two. What if we want to do it for two different states? It's just as long as this. My wife is in Missouri. And I'm in Illinois, so I was just trying to figure out as far as the business. Like I could just basically put it for Illinois and then put it on public record, and then it would right. apply for them or what I have to do. Right. Them. No, you just do it there, Secretary of State, do it there, and then take it um, to the um, recorder's office um, where your right is and put it on the record there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Peace. All right. Peace, God. Peace, God.